Hi. I want to um, teach some of you how to um, basically make an, a, a local wiki entry that's going to have some very interesting long-term effects that are, that's really helpful. Now, um, we're going to do it in a specific category, and I'm going to walk you through this, and I want you to take a look at some of these things that, that I'm pointing out. And if you have questions, feel free to email me. My email is tjanders at odu.edu. And, um, you know, if I don't get back to you, hopefully I can answer some other way. Maybe in the comment sections below. All right, so here you are. Your um, opening page here it says, Welcome to Hampton Roads Local Wiki, a website about Hampton Roads that anyone can edit. And that's true, anyone, even you, if you don't know anything about code, don't worry. Uh, it's okay to be scared, but this is not hard. I'm just going to try and make it easy for you and also give you some suggestions that are really helpful. So relax. If you make a mistake, it's fine. I just want you to try. And the more you try and the more everybody else tries, the better it gets because wikis are really resilient and they're kind of hard to mess up. In fact, one of the things I'm going to show you today that we're doing an edit on uh, was messed up and I, I fixed it. So you probably saw there, I just clicked on music. And um, so, you know, I'm interested in how local music in your community operates and how it can operate in the, uh, the city, but I'm particularly interested in history. So I'm going to show you how to make an entry that will actually have long-term effects for history and up-to-date knowledge, believe it or not. So the first thing we do is we found this category, Hampton Roads Music, and we're going to scroll down. If, for those of you who know more about Hampton Roads Music, you can edit this. And uh, if you have some questions, again, uh, contact me and I'll show you how to edit. Uh, but I'm particularly interested in live music. I'm interested in live music for a lot of reasons. I'm interested in music history. So I'm going to click on that. And we're going to get to, as you can see here, live Hampton Roads live music venues. Now, I want you to take a look here. I'm going to scroll down a little bit. Actually, let me open this up, make it a little bit even wider. This is active music venues and, scroll down here, inactive music venues. Now, there's a reason for this. Um, I'm interested in history, so I'm interested in where some of these old venues were. And they're on a map here, like I've actually got them set up on a map, and as, as you'll see later, uh, they'll appear on a map. And here are the live music venues that are active. Now, some of you are going to know that there are more inactive music venues, just by definition, that are active ones. I just moved here. So if you know of any, follow this process and place them in inactive, and uh, I'll actually have a post on that too, and how to do an inactive music venue and why you want to do it the way you want to do it. But be consistent as we go throughout, and uh, you'll see that this this works. Okay, so um, we're going to do it with an active menu venue first. That I know that I have I purposely have not placed in here, nor have I not there. There isn't even an entry, and you'll see here there's a number of these. And, and notice that when I roll over them, over here, on uh, uh, the the map shows up where they are. So, uh, for instance, yesterday I just put in Greenies, which is an ocean view area of Norfolk. And I actually know that there's another venue there called the Thirsty Camel that's not there. So, um, you know it's incomplete. And what we want to do is build out a very useful wiki. And this wiki is going to take time and effort. But if we do it right, it's going to have long-term effects because the great thing about a local wiki is that it's open for everyone and that means anybody can innovate off of it. It's really cool. So let's uh, let's do this in a way that gives you some long-term effects and makes it real patient. Now the real tempting thing is to just enter it up here. Just put in, uh, put in a thirsty camel like you want to edit and put it in here. But as you're going to see, uh, this is wrong. So I've clicked on it, and I want you to see when I hit edit, it's real tempting to sort of wipe this out and get rid of it right down here. But you don't want to do this, because what you see right there, what's in this blue box, is actually a script. In fact, I'm going to show you the source. You can always see the source code on this, and I'm going to click on it right here. Here's what that blue tag is. It's a You can see here, in plug-in include tag, uh, href tags, uh, live music, list of pages tag, blah, blah, blah. Now, you don't need to know that unless you're interested in writing script. I'm not here to teach how to write script. But this is what that script looks like. And notice how, we're going to go back, all those things disappeared. All right? 
Did you see that? Now they just reappeared. Now, okay, what's going on there in that script is that script has basically said, go get and organize all the pages tagged with this tag. So let's take a look at that tag again. Live music active and live music inactive. That will be one of the many tags, not just the only tags that you're going to have in here, one of the many tags. So we're going to pay attention to proper tagging pack practices, and that's easy to fall in, uh, follow in a local wiki. Um, I'll talk more about both the coding and tagging later in a later entry. Okay, so we don't see the thirsty camel up here. You notice this? We'll go back. Oh, come on. There it is. We don't see the thirsty camel up here. I don't see it up here. So what we're going to do is search for the thirsty camel. And that really helps. So we go up into the search bar. You see it up here, search Hampton Roads. And we're going to put in thirsty camel. Now it's going to search for anything that's thirsty in camel in Hampton Roads that's been listed. And notice here, this is great. This is exactly what I wanted. I've clicked it in this and it says, uh, search results for Thirsty Camel in the gray box. And below it, it says, no page with the exact title Thirsty Camel exists. Fantastic. So, uh, it gives us an option here, and it says, we're going to create this page. It says, do you want to create this page here? Yes, we do. It's a little button. Let's click on it. Look at what happens here. It gives you options. I like options. Options are good things. Uh, but you have to be careful. You have to be careful what you choose. So here are the options. Six different templates are going to be offered, and these templates are going to help us organize our information. Don't worry. If you click on a template and it's wrong, we can go back, delete it, and put in a new template. But let's take a look at the template. We have artist templates, business templates, disambiguation templates that sort of separate it out. Say there's 20 thirsty camels, and you only want to talk about one. We can put in a disambiguation uh, template and hook up the businesses to it talk about that later. A place template, I like to use those for inactive places that no longer exist, uh, the, but it's it's a place where, where something happened. A restaurant template, you can use that for bars, restaurants, cafes, and a user template. All right, so the Thirsty Camel is both a restaurant and a business. I'm actually going to choose the restaurant template. Aha! Right. It's it's very close to the business template. I actually don't know what the difference are, but you know it's it's pretty much very close. So let's take a look at this. Uh, okay, you can see that you have a title here. It's actually given the title. If you wanted to edit that, you could. And in this case, it says you must create the page before renaming it. So we still have to create the page. What I'm going to do, in this case, the thirsty camel. First thing I'm going to do is put in because it already says it, it wants to be edited. It's you can tell this because it has this toolbar up here. I'm going to put in an address. I've just cut and pasted the address because I had it. I'm going to put in a phone number. Now I don't know what the hours are. I really have no idea, but I'm going to just put them in there blank. Somebody else can put them in there. And there is a website. I'm going to put that in here. Now, uh, I'm actually going to put it in as a website link. So I'm going to go up and you see this link to world, the world right here. Put it in right now. Thirsty Camel Folk right there. OK. And actually, let's edit that. Let's actually put a um, Thirsty Camel Folk right there and then edit the put in the link. Sorry about that. All right, so I put in Thirsty Camel Norfolk and put in the link. I don't know when it was established. I bet somebody else does. They can put that in. I don't know what the price range is. I don't know what they take. And I don't know if they're wheelchair accessible. So I'm going to leave all these blank. You could put them in there if you wish, if you do know what they are. Now it says, then put whatever you want down here. Note that, da 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 look at my phone book. I'm going to leave this just like this right now, OK? And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to save the changes. Okay, So the way you do that is you just go down to save the changes. It's on the lower left-hand corner. Okay, It's on the lower left-hand corner. And you are going to click on it. Now this is great because it, now you've made this page. Uh oh, something went wrong. Let's try it again. Same early preview. Let's just... Uh, 
There it is. So uh, I just reloaded uh, it. No biggie. Okay. Well, all right. So here we go. We have and we have made the changes, but I still want to do something else here. I would like to create a map. Typically up here it says create a map, but because we had to reload it, this is what we're going to do. We're going to go down to the lower right hand corner. Sometimes you'll see up here in the upper left hand corner to say create a map. Just click on create a map. Don't worry about it. Right now we're going to go to edit map. Okay. Edit map. This is going to bring us to a map. Now, um, right now, when you go to this, I want you to take a look at, at this map and just notice, oh, well, that's a map of the Hampton Roads area, and indeed it is. And we are going to put a little address in here like this. And notice it knows where this address is. That means it's already been plotted out. There's a the parameters for a street, and it says, I know where that is. And it just appeared here in blue. Uh, I am actually going to click on it, boom, and indeed, that's where it is. It's not in the middle of the street, clearly, but it's 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 right there. Um, it's actually over here. We could drag it over there if we wanted to, but we're just going to let it be here. It's close enough for government work. Um, and we're going to save that change down here. And then, to get back to where we were, we're actually going to click on Thirsty Camel, and now we have a map. All right, we built it out. We only have one more thing I want to do here before we get back to seeing the live music, because it's not going to show up in live music. In fact, I'm going to show you right now. Let's go back to this local wiki over here. Click on Music. Click on Live Music Venues. All right, there's still no Thirsty Camel down there. All right, should be there, but it's not because we haven't done this thing. We haven't tagged it. So what we're going to do is we're going to go down to the lower left-hand corner here and hit Add Tags. And literally, all you're going to do is go Live Music. Now notice all these tags pop up. That's great. But first one we're going to do is just Live Music. Click. All right, not Live Music active yet. Why Live Music? here's the reason. I'm going to give four different live music tags because I might want to study the entire history of a region. And I just want to call from live music. I might want to study what's happening right now, live music active. I might want to study what happened in the past, live music inactive. I might want to study what's happening only in Nor Norfolk, live music Norfolk, or live music active Norfolk. I might want to study only what happened in the past, live music inactive Norfolk. So it's, <laughs> we're going to give very specific here. Okay, so let's do this, live music active. Notice how that pops up and gives us options. You can just go down, boom, live music active Norfolk, click, live music Norfolk, excuse me, Norfolk. Boom. I put in four different tags. You see that? Those are four different tags there. All right? And that's not just it. I'm also going to put in bar. I know it's a bar. I'm going to put in Norfolk. All right? Because it's in Norfolk. Norfolk bar. I'm going to put in Ocean View because it's in the neighborhood that we call Ocean View. I'm also going to put in Ocean View Norfolk. That's another tag. It's already been used. And you could add a whole bunch of tags there. If you know it's a restaurant, which it is, restaurant. Boom. How about Norfolk? Restaurant. Now, some of you are going to say, how many tags can I put in there? The answer is, as many as you want. But here's the deal. The reason I put the tags in there is because... Uh, computers are really good at specifics. They're not good at vagaries. They want, they just want to be told exactly what to do and what to look for. And if you're off by one thing, it's a mini minute detail, it'll actually be difficult for the computer to do it. In fact, it'll be impossible. So, 
we want to make certain that they describe very specific things. In, in, uh, in computer speak, they call this granularity. They want the granularity of the tags or the metadata, what's describing that data, as being very specific. So let's save that. We're going to save it right there. Boom. Good. We saved it. Now, look at all those tags down here. Wonderful. If they want to get rid of them, you can always edit and then get rid of them. Those are what those X's are. Um, you can edit anybody else's tags. I suggest that you just add more tags on the tags. The more tags, the better. It doesn't really matter. Now, let's go see what this looks like. Still, no thirsty camel. Well, let's reload it. Here it comes, and voila. Let's see, do we have thirsty camel? No. Oh, well, let's take a look one more time. Let's see, did something go on? Ah, wait a minute. It was there. I missed it. There it is, Thirsty Camel, right there. In fact, I'm going to go over it, and you can see that change right there, Thirsty Camel. So, uh, again, that's just in the code. Now, you didn't have to add it in here. It did it itself. Uh, I want you to understand that this is really useful, because we're letting the computer do some work in organization for us that we typically could not do, or would not do. It's just a whole lot easier. Uh, so, I want you to try it for now, see if you can find a venue, and follow that technique in Active Music Venue. And if something goes wrong, it's not a big deal. We can fix it, and we'll just make it better. By the way, if you go to one of these, like the Thirsty Camel, and you know something about it, add to the local wiki, add to the knowledge base. Don't be worried about being wrong. Do the best thing that you can do. You don't have to be perfect. Other people will help you through edits. All right, thanks a lot. Uh, again, if you have questions, just ask them down here. I'll, I'll take a look, or you can email me at tjandres at odu.edu.